Great juggling skills, Juliana. Thanks, Melvin. That's because I've been doing my homework, okay? Well, for those of you at home, I hope you've been practicing because today we're going to go all out. Yep, we're going to have lots to cover, lots of games, that is. And I'm so wrapped up, so onward with the training schedule. Wow, that sounds a lot to pick up, but it sure looks fun! Totally, Jules. We all know soccer is a great game. And today, we're going to put most of what we learned so far to the test in the form of some games. Well then, I'm game for it! I'm sure she is. We're going to learn a game called the Traffic Lights. Traffic Lights? Is it just me or the name of these games getting way too weird? Uh, I think it's just you, Jules. Well, I wasn't even talking to you! Anyway, this is how the game goes. Just like in the normal traffic light, there are three colours. Green, red and amber. When I call out the green light, all you have to do is to move towards me with the ball at your feet, like in a dribbling manner. Okay. When I call out the red light, wherever you are, you would have to stop with the ball at your feet in whatever position you are. So even if it means you are in a superman position or if you are falling down, you just have to freeze there and stay there. Now I have to call out the last colour which is amber. Mm -hmm. You would have to stop where you are and perform 10 toe taps or 10 step ons. And once you're done, place your foot on the ball ready to go again. This is the objective of the game, to get to the end line as quick as you can. But there's a catch. If I were to call red light and you, you couldn't freeze in time or the ball moved away from your body, you will have to start all the way from the start point again. <sighs> Sounds like fun? Sounds like fun! I'm ready! Ready to go, let's go! Alright Jules, are you ready to play the traffic lights? Yes, green light on my side! Alright, get ready! On my marks, get set, green light! Go, 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 and red light! Freeze! Oh, look at that, Jules like an eagle! <laughs> you get to, don't get to see this many times, so just treasure this. Green light! Hey. Go, 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 go! Amber light! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10! Green light all the way! Go, go, go! Well done! Good job! Yay! <laughs> Right in front of you, Jules. Ah, oh, okay. This is how the game is played, alright? You start from where we are standing at. We have different coloured rungs right in front of us. Mm -hmm. White, red, blue and the end point which is marked out by the two cones. Okay. At every rung, we are going to do a different ball must remove. So we start up from here, whistle blown, time starts. When we run up to the white rung, we'll do our first move which is the pan step on. Okay, mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop the ball. Run up to the next one, which is the red colour, where we'll do 10 toe taps. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Stop the ball, run up to the blue rung, which will be our pull push. So it's 1, 2, 3. If you can do your hops, by all means, please go ahead. 7, 8, 9, and 10. And the last one, it's inside, outside. Inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Stop. Time stops, and we'll see your time. Well, is there like a time limit for this? Not exactly, but uh, we want to do this in the quickest time possible. Alright, this is it, Jules. Ready to climb the ladder? I'm ready! Get set and go! First round, we have 10 step-ons. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good job, next one. 10 toe taps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oops, oops, keep quick, get it back. <laughs> two more. 9 and 10. Right, next one. 10 pull push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and inside, outside. Let's go. Inside, outside, inside. Keep the ball under control. Get it in and stop. Ha! Okay. Thirty point three seven seconds. Rules not too bad for start, I guess. Now that was the ladder game. It's a game that you can play on your own 
and try to get a better score each time you play it. You could also choose to play it with a friend and compete against each other to see who, who gets the quicker time. Well, then Melvin, what's next? What's up, Nick, is a move called the Step Over Scissors Move. Ooh, that move sounds dangerous. Sounds dangerous, but what it actually is, is a combination of the two moves that I've taught you earlier in the first two episodes, which is the Step Over and the Scissors Move. Okay, I'm ready to take a look at that. Let's have a recap and uh, show me some moves. Alright, first to recap, the Step Over Move is one where you fake to go to your left with your right foot and you actually push off to the right. And the Scissors Move, it's one where you fake to go to your right with your right foot and pushing off with the outside of your left foot and accelerating away. Well, that doesn't seem too hard. What is it? A combination would be what we call the step over scissors. Oh. Which would look like that, okay? So you're jogging in the spot, step over, scissors, and then pushing off. You're very swift with the ball. However, I'm not very sure if I can do that. We'll find out very shortly. Okay, Juice, ready to go? I'm ready! Right, let's have a look. Let's start by you jogging on the spot. When I say go, I just need you to do the step over, the scissors, and then push off in one direction. Okay. Just stop the ball. Okay, ready and go! Step over, scissors, and go. Okay, not too bad. Uh, try not to keep the ball too far away. <laughs> try again. Ready? And step over, scissors, go. Alright. Okay, just a few pointers for you to take note. Okay. When you do the step over, you don't really need to get your whole body to one side of the ball. Alright? Because what you are trying to do here is to fake to go to one direction. So you just have to do this as if you were kicking the ball, right? Stepping over, and the second step is the scissors, and then poop, moving off with Okay. Alright? Mm -hmm. So just try to make your feint look convincing. Okay. Ready and jog on the spot. <laughs> look at Juliana dribbling the ball. Okay, ready and go! Alright, not too bad. One more time. Look convincing. Believe you're going to get past this defender. <laughs> That's really, really convincing. And go! <laughs> Alright! What a good dance move there. <laughs> Alright, so this is the part of the session where we call the 1v1 game with shooting. Okay. Alright, very simple. You start from here. We're going to have a defender in the form of a cone first, alright? And then we're going up against the defender. I need you to execute either a scissors move, a step over move, or the move that we just learned, which is the step over scissors. Okay. Alright? I'm going to show you a demonstration. Alright. Start from here, and you go. Go up against the defender. Any move, accelerate. Finish off at go. Okay? Okay. Impressed? Impressed. Oh, that's not enough. you got to show me what you've got. Ready, and go. Okay, not too bad. One more time. Let's start with a single move first, right? So we're not going to do the step over scissors. Okay. Let's try the step over move. Okay. Ready, and go. Okay, finish off. Yep. Great job. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful job, Juliana. You rock. Well, that's all thanks to your unwavering effort in coaching me. It's my pleasure. Well, I've had so much fun. It's just such a pity that we've come to the end of the show. Well, if you have any views and opinions or you just want to tell us how much you love this episode of How To, you can always contact me at juliana.adrenaline.sg or ask the expert at melvin.adrenaline.sg Alternatively, you could contact me on my mobile at 91010666 or you can always visit our website at www.cover.com.sg Well, in the meantime, for those of you at home, stay active and catch me in my future how-to adventures. Adieu! Okay, it's me against you now. Scissors. Step over. Oh.